all right guys welcome back to the channel today we have over here the brand new mat rod as you can see it's from the q case and i really like how this uh this thing looks gumball 3000 you look at that that thing has a straight six for an engine looks amazing it looks amazing we have two poles that we have to drill out got my drill right there the 116 I didn't drill this uh, with the 116 first just to create a guide for the bigger uh, drill bit That way that drill bit doesn't go everywhere. I try not to drill too deep. But then the, the screw, the button, button head screw really doesn't work. Sometimes you could get the, the mushroom head off with the drill bit, sometimes you can't. So I use a flat tip screwdriver, pry off that little border right there, the little ring. Now in the past, I used to use the flat tip screwdriver to crank on the base to try to pull it out. Uh, now I, I try to stay away from that because uh, that tends to bend the axle and bend the, the base then when you put it back together you see it's all crooked so I just once I clean off the, the mushroom head I just keep drilling a little bit little bit until it comes off look at that engine straight six amazing the windshield sometimes hot wheels hits a home run with just a simple casting like this one now I'm gonna go ahead and drill again with the 116 making the hole deeper that way I get a tap with a 256 tap and I make sure that uh, the screw, the 256 button head screw goes in all the way. Now when the machine presses on to create the mushroom head, sometimes it, uh, most of the time, it will inflate the pump. That's why I clean it off. That, that way I can put the base back on. sure that uh, I could put the base back on without any problems here is my 256 tab with some big swats I do this to both uh, front and back posts Now, uh, some people like to cut the tabs. I don't. I reuse them. So I use the small flat tip screwdriver to pry them open. Here are the wheels that I'm going to use. I think I got these uh, a long time ago from one of those old boulevard cars. I think it was the one with the toilet. As you can see in the back, it doesn't fit. 
I need a longer axle. So I went to search my piles of uh, wheels to see if I could find one with a longer axle. Here I found here I found a some hot wheels, four by four wheels with a very long axle. So I'm just gonna cut the tip on one side. Cutting the tip on that side. You could also use the the brass tubing. But once I learned how to do uh crimp the crimp tubes, I don't think there's a no way I'm going back to the tubes unless I really really have to then you can see that uh, the axle ended up being perfect so I'm just gonna set up here the work area I have a complete video on how to do the the crimp tubes they're very very small since I made that video I uh, change a few uh, some of the steps that's how I'm showing it here so what I do is I put the axle there now I can't find my hammer there it is I tab it now the crimp tubes are very fragile so what it does it just expands and I can easily remove it. So now I go get the, the glue. I use a Gorilla Gel glue. I think that's the best glue. Because it's, you know, it doesn't run everywhere. And you don't have to use a lot, just a very small amount. And now we do the whole step all over again. Now since I use a very little amount of glue, I don't have excess of glue. And because of the wheel, you can see the crimp tube ends up being hidden away. Looks all original. A lot faster than cutting up uh, some tube, huh? Now if the the if the head would have shown, I now I'm using my my punch tool here, I use the back part just to close the, the tabs there. Like I was saying, if, uh, if, if I was using one of those wheels where the axle head was showing, I would just use a disc of my Dremel and I would just grind it down so it looks about the same size as the regular axle head. So, all we have to do now is put everything back together. And I got a surprise for you. It fits perfect. Got the 256 button head screws. Remember, everything I use, all the links are in the video description. I'm using this uh, brown sharpie to paint the leather straps in the back. I think I need some coffee. Shaking too much.
I'm going to do leather straps at the front also for that small tank. One thing this casting doesn't have is it doesn't have any lights. So that possibly, now I'm going to use this bronze metallic to do the, this emblem back here. Or the latch, and the <clears throat> the latch is for uh, the belt. So maybe in the future I'll add some uh, headlights and tail lights. I just didn't want to mess up the paint job. This could easily be a super in the future because it it looks that good. Well, guys. It there it is, the finished product. Let me know what you think. I think it came out awesome, but I have a surprise for you. I made another one for my Spanish channel. Check it out. It's a four by four. with Some matchbox wheels, the paint on the rims match the paint on the car and it rolls beautiful just like the other one let me know which one you like better I'm having a, a hard time here deciding all right guys thank you for watching remember to hit that like button it's very important and remember to subscribe. See you on the next one.